they want to go for this perch, and it looks likely it will be set up to the site shortly. JDC spots the early info, and they've spotted the bomb as well. Yeah, VMAS scoot first pick. Bentad is down, attacker coming in and finding the reply. Blinded to the kill. Dan King with a follow-up. And it's down to three players here for Maus. Under a lot of pressure, Tyloo applying it, continuing to move forward. And it's just Dexter, and they are going to get shredded. Tyloo don't even have to plant the bomb. It's all about headshots. Susceptible to counter utility, but in this round, Maus don't have many nades. They do have more smokes, but the push is going to be quick. And it's coming right into the crosshair of Frozen, who sticks around in the same spot, trying to get a second kill from it. Ineffective in doing so, so it's Dexter that steps up, and with the deed, he finds the first. The rifle's good for the second. And Dexter still stands to do a little bit more. Dan King rapidly racing to the back of the side. He needs a kill, and he gets one, but it's not enough. Summer alone gets caught in the open, and Dexter with a 4K from the truck. Oh, here is some of the B aggression that I was saying might be an option for Mouse. This door opened. Oh, Torzi could have had the shot blind, but instead Frozen doubles down on the wall bang. And Attacker is also down to 10 health. The aggression from JDC just caught him out. It's looking pretty good for Tai Lu, but... Shin. He's got himself in a deep position at short. He's going to start hearing present steps. Flash is starting to come towards him. He knows if he just holds, he catches the shadow, slowly commits to it. Summer has to trade it out and now thrusts himself into the one versus one. Oh, unfortunately, not expecting heaven. Looking for JDC elsewhere. And the kill will come from... Really good about closing this one out. As we enter the second half, Dan King... We're going to get off to a good start for Ty Lu, fights through middle, unable to find the opening, but sticks around and eventually does get his chance to open up the round in the second half. He'll stay here, maintain control of bathrooms, and slowly with the jaw Barretta's moves forward. I thought he was about to catch BMAS, but he turns back, and the kill now back in the hands of Maus. 4v4 as they start to settle on the B side. They want to finish the pistol here. Attacker was fighting at range, but not able to land the early shots, but there's a massive stack ready on this B side. Attacker, round the side, good shot initially. And now Summer will come into play. Two more CTs in water. Push coming in, and wow. somehow JDC's got a double. It was looking Three. good for Ty Lu with the stack, but JDC had other ideas. Just now arriving, but he's got to get here now. Yeah, Dan King's under a lot of pressure. Utility really forcing him back, and Summer, he just commits into it. Just sends himself right in the midst of battle. It's one kill for Summer, holds down and gets a second on the long play. JDC with two, turns back, and another one found from JDC. Finally, attacker will bring down Dexter, equalize the numbers on the player count again. JDC is worried about committing to the plan because it will put him out of commission and open up a chance to leap towards the fight, and he doesn't have a team yet close. Finally, BMAS will arrive, but he's on 10 HP, which means the JDC has to do pretty much everything, and he has no problem doing that. Four kills already, JDC closes with all five. A fantastic round from JDC. He'll pick up the eight. It's sinking. Yeah, big time. There's no lifeboats. Dragons can't swim. Yeah, they can. They can. Unless you're a water dragon. Oh, Dan King and Bintet. Couple of kills. Oh, Bim has at least pulling one back. It's a short walk through the smoke for slowly. It, uh, almost a necessary play, but at this point, when so much is going wrong, sometimes you can let slip a few details of your game and slowly gives it away. Attacker under more pressure because of that in Mousian opening. They smell blood in the water. Molly will mean that Ben Tech can't help his teammate. Attacker is going to be swung on oh. by multiple players. No way in for him. The boost also toppled by JDC. And now Dan King smoked off. The bomb will go down. But there's a fight given to Bentet and a chance. Oh, and Torsi taking damage within the site. He's down to 48 HP. Off at the back of that, and the wall bank successful on the Torsi to remove him. Bimas looking for the clutch. The 1v2 to try and close this one out. Dan King down. Bentet, the second victim. Bimas has run out of ammo. It's to the Glock. He will go. And Bentet able to bring him down. Tyloo not done yet. They will stand to fight at least for another round. Bentet delivering a 3k. Finally showing some impact here, and it does come down to the fact his opponent runs out of ammo. And you'll take everything you can get here, Tyloo. Another round at least. Some extra server time. Close out your map picked. Maus have stormed their way through. And with the pistols, have got their way onto the A site, looking to be brutal onto the Tyloo side. The kill and attacker has come through. It's now just a rifle and an AWP left. To try and get back into the site. Still four players you have to claim the lives of. Slowly starts with the first. Torshi down. Slowly getting some ground and seeing another one. It's a quick kill. Slowly taking everybody down. Deepfuse needs to get on now for Dan King and he's going to stick it around the corner. Dexter gets caught. His movement moves against him. 
and he will end up losing the round. A little scary for Tyloo, but they are able to get... Case. There is not a lot of utility left here for Mouse. They have one flash, so they are staying on the site. They want to fight. They want to close this one with bullets, and that's going to be JDC nearly getting the lineup of two, but Frozen will assist him, and it's all down to Summer. One flash left in hand, and he will go down. Mouse will take map one of this series, and are damn close to heading through to the main event. We'll see if they can close it out versus Tyloo. After the break, we'll break this one down, and then we'll head on to map two to prevent this retake from being successful from Tyloo. JDC still in the red room, still cutting off rotations and being a threat. Bimas will go down to the hands of Summer. JDC's flank will not work and the defuse is being stuck currently by Bintet. The shots are close, but not enough. Not enough shots will land to prevent him from pulling off the defuse and Tyloo will pick up the pistol here at the start of this first half. That is the one downside of playing that A split on the pistol. Uh, it's gonna be difficult if they get the bomb down here. Damage being done through the smoke from slowly. Oh, wow. Bullet goes right through the smoke, and it's slowly that gets eradicated by Torsi. Plant will go down for JDC, but luckily for Tyloo, the kill through the smoke will go their way, and right back into the reply is Frozen. So that keeps Maus ahead on the player count, barely with Dexter on 10 HP, but could make the difference here. Torji with another kill, Bintet moves forward, swiftly removing Frozen, but Torji is doing so much, and he's not alone inside of the temple. He's got a second teammate here of Bimas, and that's gonna be enough to get Maus right back on the board. And as you pointed out, the strong force by Those A-side splits are much more deadly. We're gonna see another A play here, and this time the gamble for Tyloo hasn't worked out initially, but what? they've actually found a couple of kills. Oh, that is not good for Maus, that is not good news at all. Torsi once again from this exact position he used in the previous round, getting a kill on Summer. But his teammates are few and far between, and also Torsi is taking significant damage. Bintet on the wraparound from Min, nearly gets to the lineup of two. But the kill from Bimas will be quick enough in reply. Torsi lucky to stay alive. Now they know where both players are positioned, but dealing with the threat is another story for Tyloo. It's just slowly left for the Deagle. And as much as this round might have come close, as much as you might have felt like there was an opportunity, it's not going to be enough to get the round when time will elude them, kills will elude them. Slowly we'll get another one on the way out the door. A lot of damage done under the economy of Maus. That looked like it should have been a simple, straightforward day at the office for Maus, but every player will go down. That was an empty A site. Elbow to fight through mid. There was an AK in the hands of Slowly. Tomoji holding off the ledge. Summer will go down. He starts to think about the flank AK down. Out of the hands of Slowly, the rest of the pistols will drop and it is flawless from Maus, making sure their economy can... Another A playing again, Tyloo have no one here early. Yeah, JDC, front man, charging through Slowly. He's like, why didn't we just stack A this round? JDC is already through, Torchy on the follow-up and the kills are coming through for Maus as they barrel through the A site. Pintet held back, forced in towards Donut. At this point for Tyloo, looking at the money left over, you might just consider a save call right away. And especially with that kill on the summer, you should be saving these last two weapons. Get out of there. Miles with a nice call. This is a good calling game right now for Dexter. His calls have worked out. Stays back. They've got a smoke up to cover them off for now, and they are just going to go contact B. Yeah, information can be there for Tyloo, so already a lot of the mouse players are up on the site, but it's going the wrong way. But Tech gets a double on the rifle. Dan King with a deke hits one. And Maus having to recover a bit of a desperate situation here. Tyloo find themselves in a perfect spot. And he just needs to send this one home. Dexter needs to get the bomb down. Torji's coming back up to help him. Still a minute on the clock. Missed opportunity for Torji. His teammate will go down after one kill and Torji unable to get anything done in that position. A good round to find him. So this B side of the map has been lost completely. Oh, out through middle, JDC. Wow. Oh, I catch his attacker. Looking the wrong way, just catches the timing. It's a lovely kill to find, but Bintet yet again delivering impact. In the previous round, gets a double that wins in the round, and this time, my livers. Oh, Bintet. spotted. Yeah, he's got himself a little cubby in there. Oh, the molly, the peak, and the timing for Bintet. Oh, that has worked out very well for him. Torsi left alone. 30 seconds. Queen real soon, but it's a kill for Slowly. JDC reacts, gets the trade right back. Once again, even odds on the player count. Dan King goes down to the Deagle. Ice cold from Frozen, right between the eyes. 
25 seconds, smoke deployed towards CT. That's going to prevent vision for attackers. Still available for Ty Lu. They do not have a smoke to smoke off Donut. And there's two players within that position. AWP posted. Another shot for Torzi. And now it's just Summer, and he doesn't have a shot in hell winning this one. He is going to run away. Save this AK-47 into the next round and mount completely, but... But they're not working. Miles will maintain the advantage. Good Molly to force attacker out into the open, but Dankin covers off JDC and a second kill this time onto Torji. Was that a, a wobbang from, from where? <laughs> so quick from Dankin. The issue of Donut slowly throws a flash to try and delay, uh, delay rather, and, and send him into disarray. Bintet spots the boost attempt, takes Bimas away, and Miles' chances are starting to slip away from them. Two players left, and Hedge play, it's got off as soon as he said it. it I went. know, I was really getting into it. Uh, it was building the tension. Waiting for you to say it. Yeah, they're waiting for the tension to build, and Bintet is going to pick up one, goes down to Dexter on the reply, and oh, slowly holds, and patience will work out for him. He does get his reward from it. Information will be picked out to where slowly he's playing, playing from, and they try to get around the corner. Flash prevents Dexter from getting rid of slowly. He's done such good work in towards man, it's just holding them at bay. That's brought the numbers down on the mouse side of things, and they're just getting toyed with now. Tyloo kicking into gear here on the CT side. Have tied things up. Five to five. Mouse. You see, easiest kill. He'll get all game long. That puts him up to four. Shouldn't be seeing many oh. more opportunities here for Mouse. Ooh. Had to flick up for that one. Yeah, Dan King hits those, man. He's got some crazy flicks. Frozen with the AK. Reload will lock his position in with a sound cue. Ty Lu smell blood in the water, and it's that of Frozen. Someone's behind him. Yep. He's getting pushed from multiple sides, and eventually extends out into middle. Slowly will take his life away, and that fleet. Where did the smoke go? It's, yeah, it's a bit of a gap in it as well, and slowly it's going to catch Dexter just running through mid. That smoke is not going to be used for the A site, as you pointed out. But luckily, they have found the win condition into the A site, and that's stopping Pintet from finding impact. Slowly goes down as well, and suddenly Miles have turned this one in their favor. They've got the advantage, and they've got the site. Dan King not getting the pick on Bumas, not finding the way through to the site, and Tyloo are going to have to call this one off. They're not getting ground just yet. It feels like there's still an opportunity if they can be effective in taking Torsi, but with that kill coming through, it really starts to slim their chances. They're going to have to chop a lot of wood to get back into this one, Whoa. and they might just do so. The smoke is deployed towards Donut. Tyloo have stayed committed to this. They have stayed in with a position, but the time is starting to tick. Nick goes on. Deepfuse being stuck around the corner. Summer finally goes down to JDC. It was close. There was certainly an opportunity there for Tyloo. Luckily, JDC stops the deep through some happen. He doesn't think he's going to beat. The last thing he thinks is going to yeah. happen there is just a player coming up through Red Room from middle. So that's unfortunate for Dexter. Very well played for Slowly to get the kill back. And now Mouse start to hit the panic button, try to get through to the A site. But Dan King is at the ready and is successful in the first kill. The second will do a lot of damage, but no kill found from it. And so that gives JDC, Torsi, and Frozen an opportunity. But it's an opportunity that is cut short by Utility. Mouse side. Only the pistols in this round, so they up the tempo, but slowly sprays away. Solid spray down with the silent stem four. Still able to get the multi-kill. Yeah, as much as this does feel through really difficult setups here. Retake the lane utility coming through again. They've got that smoke down, but Bentet's gonna fight aggressively on the angle. Solid trade from Dexter, oh. and another kill comes in for him. That's massive. That is a lot of work done for Dexter. Uh, smoke has come through that. Gives Maos a lovely buffer to play with, and if they can force a few out towards the and it just puts the cherry on top. Slowly will move back into the site, but it is to no avail. Bimas will put him in the ground, and it is a seventh round for Maus to be able to get some of these post plant positions out of there. So they're going to have to fight for Dona. Well, Bimas rips apart Pintet. The first kill of the pistol will go Maus' way. Attacker will battle for a moment, but is then put in the ground oh. by Torji, but the flank from oh. Dan King. Oh, no. Should have got a lot more. Luckily, was able to still at least get one, but slowly still has so much work to do. And the kit on JDC's back, Shu confront that defuse to come in. Slowly had a tiny window to try and jump through. And he just doesn't get through it. it they need to take those fights dry, and they really need to win these. Well, Dexter in with one on the MP9. Attacker trades him out. Dexter out of there. And JDC will go down to Attacker's Galil. Luckily, Frozen coming in, trying to clean it up. And oh, he's getting a lot out of it. A couple of weeks ago, would have found that last kill too. But 
Last bullets in the mag, and Dan King will at least be able to save on for a moment. 35 seconds, back in away with the bomb. Man's got four kills. To allow Dexter to change up his position towards Cubby. Oh, there's a rotate. And here comes the other flash that's going to set up the MP9. Utility's good, unleashing hell down the ramp. It's Dexter with three. He'll knock him down alongside Torshi and Bimas. There's 10 rounds now going to the board of Maus. Double figures are reached. Just holding on, but time is certainly of the essence. A kill for Summer. Bentet following up. There's a very small window left here for Mouth, and it's not looking to be used. They will not move fast enough back into the retake attempt, and they will have to concede. Tyloo, stay up on the board. A ninth round will be collected, and they will show us a bit of a fight on this T side early on. Hey, bring the bomb site. He should dodge the flashes if they're thrown to the left side of him. Well, he's certainly going to dodge them as he dropped in behind the box. And here comes Utility for shots going through for JDC. They're good. And the second's even better, being helped out by the perfect flash by of Torji. This has stopped Tyloo in their tracks. Ooh, Danking is quick, but not quick enough to bring J down JDC. Sometimes just by taking a timeout, though, you can make the opponents think you're going to change something. And you can just run the same play again. That mind game can come through. JDC was spamming that smoke, and he goes down because of it. This bomb plant looking likely. We go through, double play, through the smoke, and a double murder for slowly. Dexter and Torzi scattered across the crime scene. And Ty Lu will be happy and taking this one away. Throws it. Late to the scene, won't be able to do much about it. Runs away, 10 to 11. The scoreboard will read, Ty Lu staying Lu on the initial fights. Have they got enough muscle to break through Mao's defensive wall? They're trying to tap away, trying to create space. Attacker does so, Bintet will follow up, but now it is all summer. 1v3 for him. First kill is good, but the bomb in it. Awkward position has to be retrieved, and then the drop back is the difficult part from that point. So Torji swings, takes him out. 13 rounds. Go down early, but Tyloo feel like they can beat this. The incendiary hasn't landed. One of those missed right there, so BMAS will be under pressure, but the nade slows everyone down, and he's going to line up a quick triple kill that should just close the round right there. Yeah, that's not tough at all, is it, for Mouse? Keeping it clean, taking everybody down on the Tyloo side. Summer. A lovely shot from the D. He does hit one of those every now and then, but it's just one and done. Slowly in top mid means they can start to move towards Donut, and the smokes will start to come into the site. Yeah, Frozen, oh, luckily gets away with one because it looked a little awkward there for Frozen. And now slowly needed to get some impact there for Tyloo, but he's going to go down, and the kills are coming in for Mao. Suddenly it is just Attacker, and they are running him down. They're putting so much pressure onto him. The rifle is snappy to two. But he's stuck in an awkward spot and just too many bodies to try and take down Torji. This was Torji moving through the flames, which I think Attacker wasn't expecting. They knew the Orpal was back into Temple. They thought they'd locked him. They will smoke him off. Summer coming out of cave. They must attempt this, but it is futile. JDC brings down Summer. And Dan King left in the sight, goes down to JDC, and Maus will take victory. They're heading through to the main event, and Tai Lu will have to come back another year to see if they can get deep in Cologne.